Today I'd like to show you something that everybody should have done on their laptop, especially if you have a laptop. You could do it on your home computer too and it would keep your computer safe, but if you have a laptop, I would uh, recommend doing this on anybody that has a laptop. It takes uh, only takes you only got to do it once and then your computer is safe after this. Uh, it will be uh, your hard drive will be encrypted and anything that you put on it will be encrypted as after this so if any time you actually were to lose your hard drive uh, nobody would be able to get any information off the hard drive uh, without the password uh, this comes with Windows 8 so it's uh, free and it's really easy to use so it's called BitLocker uh, <clears throat> what you need to do you need to do a few things to be able to run BitLocker and encrypt your drive so the first thing you're gonna want to do if uh, if you hit start and you go to bit locker oops bit locker and there's a manage bit locker button here as you can see and see it says turn on bit locker uh, if if you hit it and it works for you then awesome but uh, for me it doesn't actually work and I gotta do some extra stuff so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now so to make this work, uh, you're going to have to download the file and it's uh, real simple. Uh, I put posted the link to the file uh, at the bottom. So I'm going to open a new Google Chrome and I'm going to paste the link to this file here and I'm going to go ahead and download it. <coughs> so there you go. The file is down here in the corner here. So I'm going to go ahead and run it and yes, run. And it's asking me if I want to continue. I hit yes. And I hit yes, okay. And now, if I go back to BitLocker here, it should work. So I hit turn on. And there we go. So BitLocker is real neat. Uh, you don't have to do anything after this is done. And your hard drive will always be encrypted. So anything that you put on will always be encrypted. And uh, yeah, like, like if anybody gets a hold of your computer or you lose it or anything, they won't be able to access this information. Even if they take the hard drive out of the computer and plug it into a different computer and try to get that information off it, they will not be able to. So here's what you do. Uh, you hit next. And then it'll take you to the screen and it's telling you that it's going to use a little bit of free space. Uh, BitLogger takes a little bit of free space, so it's going to use a little bit of free space to uh, enable uh, this BitLogger thing. So it's just uh, giving you a warning up here uh, about some things and okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And uh, now it's asking me how I want to uh, un like unlock my drive. So it's either you use a USB drive, so you pop that in and that will unlock your drive, or you uh, use a password. So I'm going to go ahead and use the password method. Now I'm going to enter my password. Yeah, this is definitely something I would recommend for anybody that has a laptop to get this done for sure. So hit next. And then it's asking me if I want to save uh, my, my password just in case that I forget it or something. So it's definitely a, a good idea to save it to your Microsoft account, which is what I'm going to do here. So there we go. It's been saved. My key has been saved to the Microsoft account. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And then uh, the best thing to do, well, there's two options here. If you have a new PC, you know, you, you select the, the top option. But uh, if you have an older PC that's been uh, in use for a while and uh, you want to encrypt the entire drive, you select the bottom option. And that's what I'm going to do. I I've been using this computer for a while and I want to make sure that everything is encrypted and that uh, if ever I was to lose this computer, nobody could get any information off it. So uh, that's the system check and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit continue. And now encryption will continue after a computer restart it says so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna restart the computer right now see if I click on this little icon here 
it's asking me to restart. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart right now. So when you do restart, you'll notice that bit BitLocker comes up. You'll have to enter your password to boot up the computer. You also have to enter this password to boot up your computer every time it restarts. Now that uh, you've restarted your computer, you'll notice that in the corner here, there's this little icon here that says <coughs> encryption in progress. So if you click on it, it'll show you that the drive is being encrypted right now. So that's all you have to do. And uh, this will take a little while. So I'm going to pause this video and get back to you when it's done. So now, as you can see, uh, encryption is completed as this thing says here so all you have to do is uh, hit close and now every time you download something uh, or you put something new on your computer it's going to be automatically encrypted and if you want to you can check out the options by hitting the start button and typing in bitlocker and then you go to manage bitlocker right here and then see suspend protection and there's a couple options here that you can uh, you can do and you can also if you go to your uh, disk explorer and you're exploring your disk and if you were to go to my computer here you can see the icon here has a big lock on it showing that this uh, this disk is uh, being encrypted and every time you restart your computer now uh, you're going to have to enter in that password to uh, decrypt the drive. Uh, thank you.